When I was a child, uh, my grandfather got a stroke and I was surprised and intrigued that when I talked to him, he was unable to uh, do a conversation or he was unable to walk because he was also hemiplegic. And I thought, I need to do something that nobody else would ever be like my grandfather. I'm very proud. I get involved in HIV research and cardiovascular disease because nowadays HIV patients do not die anymore from infection or cancer, but they are on an accelerated trajectory for cardiovascular disease, myocardial infarction or heart failure a research item that we are very proud of. If you take a mouse or a rat, and you take the HDL part, the good cholesterol particles away, they will die from infection. If you give them back, they will survive. So for the first time, we figured out that the whole concept of certain particles related of cholesterol are not only related to heart and blood vessels, but also to the concept of inflammation and I'm happy for that because unfortunately medicine is often performed in what I would call the concept of the silos, even prevention or treatment. The silo of the blood pressure, the silo of the cholesterol, the silo of uh, the heart rate and so on. So I think our research tried to tear down these walls and go for a holistic approach. I like the whole idea of internal medicine. I like the diagnostic uh, uh, possibilities. I like uh, putting the pieces of a puzzle together and, uh, and deciding what the patient had and what, what might be done for them. Uh, later on in my career, I had an opportunity to spend some time in more administrative positions, particularly with emphasis on uh, quality care and out patient outcomes, uh, emphasizing uh, safety and timeliness, effectiveness, efficiency, equity, and patient-centeredness in patient care. Uh, first of all, uh, having a heart attack got my attention, that's for sure. I think that increased my empathy with patients. In addition to, to giving me my own personal experience, uh, I, I had an opportunity then to become more involved with the Heart Association, both as a spokesperson speaking as a, as a primary care physician and uh, as a patient with my own experience. And I think that lended some credibility to the kinds of things that I was able to say to, to people who were decision makers and had an opportunity to lobby both here and advocate for cardiac and cardiovascular disease prevention and treatment both at the state and national level. I think it's been gratifying to see that, uh, that our voices are heard and that in fact uh, when we come together uh, as a group and speak uh, with a single voice about the importance of these issues uh, that people pay attention, people who can make decisions, people in power and I think that's very gratifying. They put a, a mesh around my heart and pulled it together so that, and they also put in a, a valve into the heart. So from there on, I went for two years and my goodness, the pressure started to drop again. So they put me on a transplant list and in 2004, I received a heart. Second Chance for Life Foundation. Wow, that's, you know, there's a few people that were in those support groups that belong to the Second Chance for Life organization. And those people were anywhere from 20 to 25 years out. They had an awful lot of knowledge as to what was going on, but they also worked 
on what we call the fear factor. Everybody that comes in to the transplant organization has a fear factor. The fear factor is made up of a lot of things. They, you know, what's going to happen to me? <laughs> what are the financial aspects of this? What are the insurance aspects of this? What are the medications? We do a lot of fundraising to help support those people, those that have financial needs, those that have medication needs. And if they're relieved of those factors, uh, it makes for a lot better healing process. That becomes quite gratifying. I tell you, it made my life a whole lot better. And then to be able to transmit that to other patients that, hey, you get the opportunity to get better. And it's all it takes is those three words. It gets better.